First of all, I think pharmacists can get involved in medical home model and the accountable care organizations by learning about them. We need to come outside of our pharmacies and outside of our pharmacy silos and work with our stakeholders and learn what, what's happening in my, in my community. What's my community hospital doing for transitions and care? What is my local family practice docs and primary care docs doing? And are, or do they need some help in meeting their five-star ratings so that they can get better reimbursements and make sure that there's medication adherence? I, um, it's, it's all very new. You know, five years ago, we were not talking like this. We were still kind of, oh, this isn't going to happen and this is all going to be pushed off. But it's not because um, even if we make some slight changes in the ACA, this pay for performance and shared responsibility for taking care of the patient for a better outcome is here to stay with us. And in essence, in the old days, back in, you know, when we first started doing medicine and doctors had their, you know, made house calls, pharmacists, nurses, and social workers and doctors all worked together in a community because we had smaller communities, we didn't have cell phones, and we talked to each other and we worked together on it. So we're going back to that original model that was there before any of us were in practice. The pharmacists need to um, step out of the old model and learn how to modify their practice site so that they can fit into this new environment.